Today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite drinks from Starbucks and this is the caramel macchiato. Now when you go they usually ask if you want it hot or cold so I'm going to teach you how to make it both ways. For this recipe you will need vanilla syrup. I usually go with the Tarani brand which is one of Starbucks favorite brands to use. You can also use the salted caramel which is my favorite. You're also going to need your caramel sauce. This one also is from the Tarani brand and I picked this up at Bed Bath & Beyond. Of course a macchiato isn't a macchiato without fresh espresso. I'm going to be using the Illy brand and this is pre-ground espresso coffee. You're also going to need a frother. This step is optional. I picked this one up from Amazon for I believe about 20 bucks. I'll have it linked down below. I'm going to be using a shot glass. You see how my name is customized on this. I've had this for like 10 years. I'm going to use this to measure out my shot of espresso. I'm also going to use this to measure out my syrup since my syrup does not have a pump. I'm going to be using a mocha pot to make my espresso. This one is from the brand Minos. Now mocha pots are one of the purest ways to make your espresso. So I'm super excited to be using this for you guys today. What's really cool about this is that it's a three cup. They also offer it in a six cup if you want a bigger one. Also, it comes with the interchangeable holders. That way it can match the design of your kitchen or just to your taste or whatever. It came with yellow, but I switched mine out to the red. They also sent me a really nice creamer cup. I've got my creamer in there. I actually just use whole milk. Feel free to use fat-free milk or cream or um, almond milk or whatever you choose. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make your espresso. So we're going to start by dissecting this beautiful pot here. So the very bottom piece is called the bottom chamber. This is where you actually store the water. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up right below this right here. This is a safety valve and this is where the water is going to spout out if there is an emergency. Um, like if you keep the water on too high. But I added water below that safety valve so that it does not interfere with the safety. The next item that goes in is the funnel. And this basically goes right in like that. And then you're going to take and you're going to fill it with your coffee. And finally you have the coffee reservoir which is the very top. And as you can see inside, this is where the coffee is going to come out as it is being made. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the top on. So next you're going to turn your stove on. Add your mocha pot to the fire and let that heat up for about 5 minutes. So as I said before, we're going to make a caramel macchiato both hot and cold. First one's going to be hot. First thing you want to do is add your syrup. Now I know with Starbucks they add a few pumps. Because this one doesn't have a pump, I usually measure it out with a shot glass. And this is how I know how to make my exact measurements. So this shot glass has my name on it. I can't, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I usually stop my syrup right above the A. I believe at Starbucks they do about three or four pumps and I add that to the bottom. So one way to do your caramel macchiato is if you're a super caramel lover you can ask for it upside down. What upside down means is just basically you're going to just drizzle the caramel along the sides and the bottom. I personally don't do this because it's a little bit too much. I usually put way more than this. It's a little bit too much for me, but if you like a lot of caramel and you like it super sweet, ask for it upside down. Next, you're going to add that vanilla syrup that you measured out to the bottom. So I went ahead and added some warm milk to my creamer pot. I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming out of there, but I do like my um, milk piping hot for my macchiato so that it is super hot when everything is combined. I am using a... Um, dish towel because this is stainless steel so it's going to hold that heat so it's very hot. And then we're going to take our frother, we're going to put it directly into our creamer pot and froth. And I'm going to add that to the syrup and caramel. So from the looks and the sound of it, our coffee is definitely ready to go. So now that espresso is hot and it smells really good, I'm going to go ahead and add it to 
the pot. So if you want to keep track of how much coffee that you're using in your cup, go ahead and take a normal size shot glass and add it up. That way you can know if you have a single shot or a double shot. Now you've almost got the perfect cup of espresso. The only thing you're missing is your caramel sauce on top. So I'm just going to take it and drizzle on the top. And the way espresso does it is they go across, up and down, and then circle. So now we're going to take a cold tumbler and we're going to make our cold espresso. First thing you want to do is add your ice. Next, you want to add your shot of vanilla. Next, you're going to add your milk. This is 2% milk, cold, but you don't want to froth it. Just keep it normal as is. And then lastly, you're going to add your shot of espresso on the top. You want to do this really slow so that you can have that separated effect like you get at Starbucks. And then now you're just going to add your caramel sauce to the top. And we're going to do... Horizontal, vertical, circle. So as you can see, it has that same separated effect as the Starbucks cold macchiato. But as you add the caramel, it starts to drop in. So you're just going to add a straw and serve. So here you have two of Starbucks finest drinks. The caramel macchiato original and then the caramel macchiato cold all ready to go they taste absolutely amazing don't forget if you want to you can ask them to customize your macchiato exactly how you want it and even better you can make this at home i hope this video helps some of you don't forget to check out the description bar for a full list of ingredients used for this tutorial. Also, I have a link down below for the Mocha Pot by Minos, as well as the nice creamer pot that came along with it. And of course, you cannot forget about the awesome frother. All of this stuff is linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.